You're a big fan of Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, yes Who I Who gives a fuck? Fuck types, Kim Kardashian. Fuck sorry. types, Kim Kardashian. Uh, by the way, <laughs> A-lister on Kim Kardashian Hollywood, whatever. Now, how many people play Kim Kardashian Hollywood, the, the iPhone app that we talked about a couple of episodes ago? Enough, I would presume. Probably like a billion, million, billion? Yeah. Let's easy. see, how many reviews has it got on the uh, App Store? App Store, Kim Kardashian... <laughs> Oh, that car's going to give me a heartburn. Um, he has 7,400 reviews. So let's say... Oh, and on the Android store it has 200,000 reviews. Blimey. Where are you ranked on the leaderboard? Uh, let me just have a little check, because apparently my energy is full. Okay. <sighs> 89th. <laughs> That's insane. That's so crazy. 89th, 25.4 oh. million fans. You're probably in the first percentile of Kim Kardashian players. If you're better than me, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. I'm better than you because I haven't played. Yeah, oh! that's true. You've not Anyway, it. Kim Kardashian, in 2015, guess what she's going to release? Follow up to her sex tape with Ray J, but with Kanye. <laughs> That would be the... That would be brilliant. That would be a huge seller. Yeah, that would be... Think of all the blockbusters yeah. coming out in 2015, whatever they are. Uh, I don't know. Star Wars 7. We needed somebody... Probably going to be the biggest movie in history. We needed history somebody of cinema. to have chatted about movies or something last week. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't really think of anything. No. Say, really. ignoring box office, because I wouldn't be able to show it at cinemas, but on pure units sold or downloaded, yeah. it would make top 20... Yeah, it make top 20. It'll probably make top 10. Yeah. Because Kim's huge, and Kanye's... We massive. don't know if it's huge. We don't know yet. We've not seen it. I've seen it on the radio one. What, Kanye? Kanye? Kanye, no, no, no. He's probably huge because he's black. Well, but yeah, but you don't know. Kim Kardashian is huge. Like, breast-wise and ass-wise. But... And her puss is reg. Reg puss. What reg if puss. What if Kim... No, not, not Kim. What if Kanye has a tiny dick? No. Oh. Wouldn't that be a shocker? That would be a surprise. Because you wouldn't think it, would you? You imagine him because he's black. He's not very tall, though, is he? Does that have a bearing on that? I don't know. People always say it do, but I'm hung like a horse. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. And I've got... I'm, like, not tall, but fairly average. And I've got mm. a tiny one. Yeah, it's so, weird. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah, it doesn't really work like that. Uh, but no, it's not a Kanye sex tape that she's releasing in 2015. Oh, that's a shame. It's a book. A book? Yeah. Uh, do we have a title? Yes, it's called Selfish by Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Good and title. Do you know why it's called Selfish? Because she isn't writing anything in the book. It's going to be just selfies. She's just releasing a selfie book? Yeah. Are so, they going to be interesting selfies? Just selfies. Are they going to be like, I'm just in the car? Or is it going to be like, yeah. here's me and a famous person. Here's yeah. me at, you know, Nuneaton <laughs> and Bedworth Museum. <laughs> With uh, TFC's own Phil and Matt. I imagine that Phil and Matt will make an appearance. I imagine that there will be a few celebrity ones. Just a TLDR largely. chapter, I imagine. Yeah, there'll be there'll be a TL, chapter seven TLDR. I would have thought, but she said that the reason she's doing it is because when she was on vacation in Thailand earlier this year, yeah, guess how many selfies she took? How long was she on vacation for? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Kim Kardashian. Thailand vacation. Um, um, While you do that, I'll just read a few um, a few tweets right. about this. What the fuck says Lithia Catty Cat? Oh, reality star doing book of selfies, aptly named Selfish. Does he get any more narcissistic? Said Melissa Hoyer. Okay, said Maria A. Blanchard. <laughs> You're picking some winners here. <laughs> Kim Kardashian is publishing a book of selfies, question mark. Oh, well. Kim Kardashian is publishing a book called Selfish. I need this book. <laughs> Just all the great ones, really. Just picking some very good ones. Rather cut my scrotum off. <laughs> oh, dear. Said Beat Nick Bryan. If you cut your scrotum off, won't your balls fall out? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they will. Yeah, leave that on. Do you know where in Thailand she went? The funniest named place. In the whole world. Phuket. Fuck it, yeah. Yeah. She went to fuck it. I don't know how long for, but guess how many selfies she took. Uh, 403. 1,200. 
1,200. 1,200 selfies she took. Say she was there, <clears throat> even for a month. Yeah. That's 30 days. Yeah. That's like 40 a day. Yes. Which is two every hour if she's awake every hour. Yeah. I'm not sure how... Yeah, I don't know how you would manage to even do that. You would. She would have to be taking... What she would have to do is she would have to do, like, every single day, she has, like, a few little bursts of selfie sessions where she takes, like, 100. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe yeah, maybe she that. Yeah, the mode, which is difficult to spell, so I can never Google it. But yeah, she probably used the mode. Um, But anyway, she was gonna make a book for Kanye for his birthday. She was gonna. She said like, "Oh, I don't know what to get Kanye for his birthday, so I'm just gonna make him a book of selfies." And then now she's just gonna make that and release it. Three hundred and fifty-two pages it's gonna be. Is it? And it's gonna make her so much money. Is it though? Oh yeah, absolutely. Is it though? Yes. Is it though? Yes, it will. <laughs> will it though? I don't know how much books make you, but <laughs> they've made me quite a lot. She, she has Most to... of my books have been about how to manipulate women into having sex with you. Oh, you're number one on the Pirate Bay audiobook download <laughs> yeah. page. Yeah, if you're on the Pirate Bay audiobooks. The first ten pages is all me. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred and one ways to gain confidence in the office place. Yeah, <laughs> using crystals. <laughs> Yeah. But think, she has to put zero work into it. She has to hire nobody. There's no ghostwriting. There's no. She doesn't pay anything towards no. this. She probably just hands. She so probably she just, just sends an email to the publisher with attached a Photos. thousand selfies. Say, pick the best ones. That's it. Mm. They publish it. They take thirty <clears> percent. <throat> yeah. She she can't lose any money from it. There's nothing to lose from it. Well, what can she lose? No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's literally true. Other than when dignity she... and credibility, but she's already lost that amongst anyone that will lose it from doing this. Well, what if they what if they project that she'll sell loads because of all this internet buzz? So they print like a million books and it only sells like ten. Then she'll she she won't lose any money. She would. The surely. printers would lose money. Yeah, but her management would probably lose some money. Yeah, but her estate probably wouldn't. Yeah, they're not going to lose anything. Would I? You cut. You cut. Yeah, you won't <laughs> lose anything either. Good. Look, you if cut. I buy the book. I will. You cut. Maybe twenty percent to your management who sort it out, find a publisher, etc. They'll get twenty. Why do you know? Why do you know this? How do you know all this? Yeah, I've written a few books in my yeah. time, and she'll get between forty to sixty percent. Yeah. If and she'll probably having a contract, a legal team will put it in. They might get a cut. Hmm. That. If it doesn't sell the amount printed, yeah. that money comes out of publishing or out of her management. She, she's not going to lose anything. Yeah. It's, again, it's weird. It's like... The it, detail that you know it is like her about app. publishing books is crazy. It is like her app. She did absolutely zero work other than, wow, you look really good in that new suit. <laughs> I would like to invite you to my birthday party. That's it. That's all she did. And everyone else did all the money, and she gets like forty percent of it. So, do you reckon she had any co- creative control, any sort of input? No. She probably said, "Will I be the thing that everybody who plays the game aspires to be?" Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I've got selfies to take. <laughs> I've got work to do. Here. Yeah. What does she do every day? In the what office. Does she, do? she just. Her well, job she's is still on that show, isn't she? She Kim. still does keeping up with the Kardashians. Yeah. But. She doesn't have a kid or Kanye in it. So I imagine she sort of goes around her mum's house. Yeah. Yes, oh my God. Okay, every day. Yeah. And then just flies she gets about. loads of money. I imagine she has like fashion ranges and... And she's also married to fucking Kanye West. Yeah. She could just rock up, go on tour with him, sit about. She could just be a groupie of his, basically. Yeah. How, how long is that going to last, by the way? Well, they're both sort of mental. She's yeah, mental. That's true, yeah. And he's very, very mental. Yeah. But sort of good mental. Like, he's, mm. you wouldn't want to be around him or know him or have anything to do with him. <laughs> yeah. But what he produces is sometimes quite good. Yeah, like, but he I, thinks it's amazing, though. Yeah, but... There was a list published online a while ago of the list of all the people he's ever... Com- all the people he's ever compared himself to. And it was like... Jesus. God. Like, yeah, literally, like... Well, Disney, his album's called, like, Albert Jesus. Einstein, yeah. Who... But, you know... That's... <laughs> that's is that him being mental? Or yeah. is that him... Just playing up to that. I'm crazy. Look how crazy I am. Maybe this is making me money because yeah. every time he says I'm the new Nelson Mandela, yeah, people will go, "What the fuck is he talking about?" Yeah, bang, fifteen internet articles in a minute, a yeah. thousand overnight. You get it. It's just 
marketing yourself. Do you think it is? Do you think that's what it is? I think he's <clears throat> a arrogant, multi-millionaire, talented musician. Yeah. Musician, I don't know if he plays music. Or he just raps and writes. But he's gone, oh, I'm not just going to do that. I'm going to make myself the first name on people's lips when they think of like rap or they think of crazy pop stars. Yeah. The first name on my, on my lips when I think of rap is Ref Raff. Ref Raff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah. Same. Uh, yeah, Riff yeah, Raff. Raff. So it's just, bi- it's just business, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. And he's got more money than he'll ever need. I mean, the fact that Kim Kardashian has called this book Selfish, which, by the way, you can see the cover for it here. Yeah, I'm looking at selfie. it now. Um, the fact that she's called it Selfish is quite telling, in that Selfish, the word Selfish really is a negative descriptor, and she obviously knows that because she's from Earth and she speaks English. Yeah. So I imagine there is a bit of self-awareness there, like... I don't mean self-awareness in the sense that it's like tongue-in-cheek or anything like that, but yeah, yeah, maybe she is playing to that thing of, well, like, oh, look how selfish I am. Oh, I think I'm you, have to, you have to play to it. Otherwise, you spend your entire life career trying to prove to everybody that already doesn't like you that you're something you're not. Yeah, but you're still, <coughs> you're still preaching to the people who don't like you. It's just that you're confirming their message rather than ignoring it. Or well, not but, ignoring it, but... You know, going against but it's that whole everyone who get, like gets questioned about it, so, oh what do you think of the people who don't like you etc etc they're like well you know haters are going to hate is usually the answer yeah. and so instead of putting energy into that mm-hmm. they put energy into what has worked and made them millions of pounds already Yeah. Kim Kardashian has more money than we'll ever see yeah. for doing very little really Yeah. so she'll well, it's quite big <laughs> she'll do that Yeah. you know 150% <laughs> more and so all the people that liked what she did are now really going to like what she's going to do. Yeah, I see. And eventually, if you push that too far, mm-hmm. people are going to go, oh, this is just ridiculous now, and it'll die off. Are they ever, though? <coughs> well, she, she can't keep doing this until she's 50. She could. She could if she... If she was clever about it, she could, but she can't keep... I mean, look at Chris Jenner. How old is she? And she's made a lot of money for herself by doing this. But that's thing. off other people that's yeah, not her is. own back like Kim Kardashian's whole thing is I you know she's hot I am yeah I'm hot mm. but that goes away though. but look at the amount of like clout she's got like imagine if she does like um, imagine, she, imagine if she does you know Tom Cruise yeah you know he appeared in Tropic Thunder yeah he was all like making fun of himself and being yeah, crazy great. and stuff like that and ev- everyone loved it yeah and before then people weren't all that keen on Tom Cruise because He'd shown himself to be mental and a Scientologist and all that. Yeah, but Tom he... Cruise, to me, because I was born after, really, his heyday. Yeah, yeah. Like Top Gun, Risky Business. Was it How crazy is that, that we were born <coughs> after his heyday, but he's still, still making like an A-lister? Killer movies. Yeah. That Edge of Tomorrow meant to be great. Yeah, yeah, it's meant to be really good. But all those movies he's famous for, and even to a certain extent Mission Impossible, we were quite young when that came out, yeah. they were like his, in his prime acting the first time I really noticed him doing something then, in the moment, was yeah. when he leapt on the couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah. Conan or whatever it was. Like Jimmy Oprah, somewhere. maybe? Oprah, it could have been any of them. Yeah. They're all much for muchness. And I was like, oh, he's a bit mental. I'd seen his films by this point, but in the same way you see old, you know, Travolta movies or yeah, De Niro movies. but you have no concept of them as a public figure yeah. or as a character in themselves. And so I was like, oh shit, he's a bit mental then. The whole Scientology <laughs> thing came out. Then the whole, he's married. Yeah. But then he turned it around twice, isn't he? gay. So imagine if Kim, at some point, did something where she completely made fun of herself. She yeah. would buy herself another, like, ten years. Yeah. She definitely she probably will. will. Like, you know, she's n- n- so far in her career... There has been no real self-awareness, or at least no tongue-in-cheek self-awareness, no, like, yeah. parody of herself, no self-deprecation or anything. Because she doesn't she, need to. No, she doesn't need to, but if when she loses the looks, she could pull that out easily and start doing that, and she could, like, become a parody of herself. But then there's a thin line to tread, like, yeah. do you become Mike Tyson? Yeah. Do you become any of those numerous people who used to be laughable, and now they're making money off being laughable, being laughable. but still really they're just laughable? The Mike Tyson's one interesting. I know we spoke about it the other day, but he's he's gone from being like, 
arguably the most feared man in the world mm. because not only is he was he the best boxer in the world but he'd also he had a rape conviction yeah he was like saying I'm going to eat your heart I'm going to you know yeah, fuck you till you love me all intense. this sort of whether it was selling fights or he was a bit mental and he just seemed off the edge converting to Islam keeping the pigeons whatever and then everything sort of went wrong he did the hangover and we went oh he's sort of self aware yeah brilliant and then he said hello I can make money off this and he's now doing it and doing it and doing it with that cartoon series yeah Mike Tyson mysteries and he's just he's everywhere <clears throat> I, I see that as a possibility for people like Kim maybe although I did see um, another article posted this isn't a TLDR thing mm. but I'll bring it up anyway it is it's on air now so yeah that's true boom um, there was another article that was posted somewhere on the internet mm. like last week or something probably TFC podcast it's probably TFC podcast on my homepage homepage and it was um, it was about how among teenagers mm. the, all, all, all of the according to like a poll by some magazine or something yeah all of the most influential and popular figures are all YouTube stars none of them are like A-list celebrities they're all like really? vloggers and stuff like that. That's yeah. 